Hello Techies. By using FTP, a client can upload, download, delete, rename, move and copy of files on a server. In this tutorial, we will learn about open FTP connection and close FTP connection actions. To perform all the FTP actions, we need to open FTP connection first. How can we go ahead and do that? If you see on my screen, I have created a flow with the name of FTP actions. And you can see over here under the actions, I'm having FTP actions. There you can find a lot of actions which are related to the FTP. Now to perform different actions on the FTP, as the first step, we need to use or we need to perform open FTP connection. Here is the action that what we have. Let me drag and drop this open FTP connection onto the workspace. By using open FTP connection action, we can establish the connection with FTP. All right. You can see over here the details over here. I'm having host, port, active mode, username and password and the timeout. I need to give all these details to connect with my FTP. How can I get all these details? As a first step, in our previous tutorials, we have seen how to set up FTP server, right? Now, from that FTP server, I'm going to get all these host details, port number and all these things. We are going to get it. Let me go to INETMGR, that is Internet Information Services Manager. Let me expand that. Let me expand the sites. If you remember, in the previous video, we have created WinFTP is the FTP server, right? Now, let me click on the properties by right click and then you can see over here, manage FTP site and over there, you will find advanced settings. Click on that. From here, you will get the bindings over here. You can see the host name over here, 192.168.1.6 and over there, you can find the port 21. This is for anonymous FTP. So that I'm going to copy this and you can see the physical path over here. E colon FTP, the physical path. All right. Now you can see the connections over here. I'm having control channel timeout 120 and the remaining file handling that what are the different properties that I have for the bin FTP. All right. Now I want username and password. How can I go ahead and do that? If you remember to open this FTP, to connect with this FTP, I'm having FTP colon double slash 192.168.1.6. I'm going to use this FTP by browsing through Internet Explorer. And there we are going to provide username and password. So last time we have given the username as FTP hyphen user and the password, the password which we have given it. All right, let me click on login. Now, if you see over here, we got the host, we got the port, we got the username and the password to connect with this FTP. These details, we are going to give it in the same way in the Power Automate desktop by using open FTP action. All right, now let me go back to workflow. Now I'm going to give the host as 192.168.1.6, which is my local host. And the port for the anonymous FTP, I'm having 21. We are having two modes, one is active, another one passive mode. I'm not going to enable it. And the username, I'm going to give it the same user, which I have used to connect my FTP server. That is FTP user. And the password over here, you can see over here, direct in password input or password input as a variable. Here is nothing but if you want to give directly the password in the particular text box, you can use direct password input. Or if you want to give the password through the variable, in that case, you are going to use password input as variable. Right now, I'm going to give directly password. And the timeout, I have given it as 10 seconds over here to connect with this FTP. Once it has been connected, you are getting the output over here in the workflow that is flow variable that is FTP connection. The FTP connection which you have established successfully or not and you can see the status over here in the flow variable that is the flow variable is FTP connection. All right, let me click on save. 
Now, to know this FTP connection has been established successfully to the particular FTP server, let me go ahead, let me run the flow by clicking on run. Flow execution started. And you can see over here in the flow variables, I can get it the FTP connection. Let's click on that. Now you can see the property over here. What is the host that you can see 192.168.1.6 and security protocol SFTP protocol. Secure file transfer protocol. All right, let's click on close. Now, once you have opened it by using open FTP connection, you can work on the remaining actions which are available on the FTP. Now you can see if you want to get all the list of the directories which are available in the particular FTP by using list FTP directory, you can go ahead and you can get it. And whatnot, you can see over here, if you want to change the directory, if you want to download the files, upload the files, rename, delete, invoke the FTP command, all these things, all the remaining FTP actions you can perform now onwards once you have opened the connection with the FTP server. All right, now let us assume we have opened the FTP connection and once we have worked with the particular action which is available in the FTP, once the work has been completed, I need to close the connection, FTP connection. I can't keep the FTP connection open so that I want to close the connection for others to use them, okay? So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to use close connection. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters, this action will be used to close the connection, which we have used, which we have opened already by using open FTP connection, right? There you can see the variable I'm having FTP connection. Over here also to close the connection, I'm having the same parameter connection by using that you can see over here, percentage FTP connection percentage, which I have opened. I'm going to close this by using close connection FTP action. Let's click on save. I hope you understand how to open the FTP connection by using host and port along with username and password. And also we have seen how to close the FTP connection by using close connection FTP action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Admin tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.